We are taking another live look this morning out of Maryland involving a massive bridge collapse in Baltimore with the Francis Scott Key Bridge. It collapsed earlier this morning. Just take a look at this. This is the aftermath of it after a cargo ship hit the support beam and the bridge quickly collapse right after. Yeah, absolutely. So what's happening right now with the sun coming up and everything is cruiser in the water. You can see those boats. They're trying to figure out, you know, how many people may were on that bridge whenever mm -hmm. it uh, was hit. How many people were in the water? They've already taken a couple to the hospital uh, this morning, which has been reported. Now, thankfully, on average, 31,000 people take this bridge a day. But because it was super early in the morning, about 1230, there weren't many people on it. But we do know that there were some Cars, including a tractor trailer. So that search for them continues and hopefully a miracle is going to happen. They can pull them out. Yeah, you can see just how big this bridge is. It's 1.6 miles across. So it's not a small bridge at all. And it's a major corridor there um, for that area. They do have other bridges they can use, but it's going to be quite congested um, in the Baltimore area this morning as crews are continuing to work and figure out, you know, how extensive this is. Yeah, definitely a tragedy. Our thoughts and prayers with those and we'll continue to keep you updated throughout the morning and on our website 5newsonline.com.